Shakti. Yes. Okay, very good. Namo tasse bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasse. Namo tasse bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasse. Namo tasse bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasse. Sadhu So today. We continue a bit about what is it called. Uh, I'll give you a topic, something like uh, uh, silence of the Buddha. Clear? So last week, remember. Uh, we learn a bit about silence of the Buddha. So this is related to Avya Kata and Chatus Koti. Remember these words, remember. Avyakata and Chatuskoti. Remember in what is it called? Uh, Malunke Sutta Sutta. I discussed with you, right? Malunke Putta Sutta. The Dasa Avyakata. Ten unanswerable questions. And then silence of the Buddha. Why the Buddha was? silence on it so i'm going to give you some discussion uh, about why the buddha was silence about hmm, it why the buddha was silent right silence about hmm, right and then okay so let us see what we can uh, see. Okay, before that, Brahma Chala Sutta. You must refer a little bit to the Brahma Jala Sutta. In Brahma Jala Sutta, what do we see? 62 views. Or we call them Micha Ditti. Micha Ditti. And you also can you also can take note that when we say the Micha Ditti from Bajala Sutta, the religions in India, right? Before, before the before the Buddha, even during the lifetime of the Buddha. Buddha, right? Uh, uh, different, different views. So when we say the Brahmajala Sutta 62 views, Micha Ditti is known as extended. Extended version of 10 unanswerable questions. You can refer to Brahma Jala Sutta. In Brahma Jala Sutta, so the Buddha referred to what is it called? Uh, 10 uh, that because uh, it's almost like the same thing. What do we see in Brahmajala Sutta? The extended version. The extended version of hmm, what do we see here in uh, the how to say the Rasa hmm, Vyakata. 
दसे अव्या कथे टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू मत मतलब ये नहीं आज तो हमारे कथा करने लोग नहीं हैं सो यू जस्ट टेक नोट है यू कैन रिमेम्बर व्हेन व्हेन द बुद्ध डिलीवर्ड ब्रह्मजाल सुत्ते इस ऑल दिखी all views same thing the buddha said what we need come to avyakatas buddha didn't want to commit buddha didn't want to commit what was the main reason so he said that the what is it called mm, you can remember like Buddha was not interested. Buddha was not interested in establishing in establishing truth by means of. logic and reasoning can you remember this two words logic the sign in what is it called palama sutta ma tak hetu एक नोट है मा तक हेतु नॉट बाय लॉजिक नॉट बाय लॉजिक ओ रीजनिंग Why did the Buddha was silence? Even Buddha rejected Chatus Koti. Remember two things here. In this discussion last week, I gave you a little bit. I mean, it's it's bit uh, a difficult topic, but uh, take note. Take note that Buddha didn't want to entertain. but they didn't want to entertain the questions based on logic and reason because the buddha said that truth truth cannot be realized truth cannot be what is it called explained through logics take note that's the early buddhism view early buddhist view right this i would the said in right sasato toko put into that is ditti is a view Sasatolo coming, they are did did this and also dogmatic. Dogmatic view. Certain scenes, right? Dogmatic views. And the Buddha, why the Buddha was silence about it, right? So the Buddha said, "The things, the things, are always, always seen as bars, which prevent 
one from achieving liberation. If you can read this statement, Sasato loko, asasato loko, antawa loko, anantawa loko, tam, jivang tam sarira, hoti tathagato paramarana, na hoti tathagato paramarana. All those are views. And the Buddha said, take note, it's very, very important even for us in our personal life. If you are going to hold some views, dittis, right? They are, they are not going to be very useful in realizing the dharma, realizing the dharma. So that's what the Buddha said, right? Realizing the dharma. This is one of them, right? One reason you can see here. One of the reason why the Buddha was silence. Can you see? Just look at it. Because you need, now left only one month, right? <laughs> Have you got the timetable? Yes, exam is in the December. Yeah, that's why. I'm thinking of coming back. Hmm. For the exam. Mm -hmm. Exam I try. Yes, I will, will exam is on second of December, right? Is yeah. it? Is it on second October, November, December? December second mean Friday, right? Is it? Mm. Yep. You mean the pre Buddhist Indian sort? Yeah, Mr. Mamoru, you got it right? Yeah, actually, we have several days of the schedule. First one is December, second Friday. Yes, yeah, second Friday, right? Pre Buddhist Indian sort. Okay, go. Remember? <laughs> So, but what am I trying to do? If five of you can let me know which other day, Mamoru, I can meet you. I really want to help you to discuss even the other questions also. It doesn't matter, right? Which paper dif difficult. If you can send me WhatsApp, right? Because what is important, please take note. You must... Uh, Pass this paper. You must pass this paper because once uh, you pass this paper, the, that is the, the first year. So you must get how many papers are there? Four, right? Five, Five papers. Five papers. Pali, Pali. Pali is there, yes. Pali compulsory or what? Mm, I think it is optional. I am not sure, but but we all studying the Pali language. Good, good. It's because sometimes uh, references are coming in Pali language, so mm. it is good to have it. So let me see whether uh, if, I, if I get a chance to come. Eh? That means November 28, 29, 30. Then December 1st and 2nd. Anyway, before that, Mamoru, think of uh, another day. Friday also, we can spend a little bit time. What other day you can have uh, another session with me? Hmm. Sensei. Ah. How are you? Oh, so, I just so have... okay. So today we are we are discussing silence of the Buddha. Maybe what do I do, Rahul? I'll try to get this notes in this computer whether I can 
forward the notes in mm. what is it called this one eh? yes so why the buddha why did the buddha reject the uh, unanswerable or oh, buddha want to observe silence and number one the buddha said what is is early as i told you these questions are wrong views you ask world is eternal world is not eternal and all those questions are they are not relevant and also the buddha said what truth by means of logic and reason you come to argue you come to debate and debate through debate you would not realize the truth and the buddha said dogmatic view any dogmatic even just to share with you today what happened to the buddhists in the world today we are obsessed with so many views today so we don't realize the truth we are more interested in all those kind of things right the deities right okay the second one right the second reason according to the buddha what is you can put it number 2 number right reluctance reluctance in talking about metaphysical metaphysical take this note metaphysical problems it is is not new in buddhism so here we are going to because uh, metaphysical problems the the things beyond our mind right momoru teki like sensei that that's very very important when we say you you have that uh, topic also when we say metaphysical it is sasato loko asasato loko antava loko anantava loko first the buddha rejected did refused to answer because they are not relevant to what is it called liberation nirvana mark to the nibbana and also is dogmatic view and also what is it called uh, even what is it called in samana tradition samana tradition you know samana tradition remember now you remember the things i discussed with you sensei samana and brahman especially six religious teachers remember six really ajivak remember jatila pari pajak achelak nigant can you remember these names all of you you must have these names in your vocabulary very much even in buddhist social dimension paper the religious teacher samana tradition right right and remember can you remember right especially sanjaya bellatti putta right what did sanjaya bellatti putta teach yes can remember <laughs>
what is his teaching? Anyone knows? Can't remember? Hmm? Sun Sayer. Sun Sayer. Sun Sayer. Skeptic. Skepticism. You must remember. Skepticism. Uh, he's Yiru Uyghur. Hmm? He, he, he was Yiru Uyghur. He did yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. In the, remember, he discussed uh, in Samanya Pala Sutta. I gave you the detailed discussion. Right? Remember? Skepticism. Right? To Samanyapala, these Samanas, right? Most of the Samanas, right? Also the teacher, right? The Samanas. The Samanas did not give answer. Answer to what is it called? Metaphysical. Metaphysical questions, what is it called? For various reasons. So you take another view here, right? You recall, you are here, right? One yes. of the other reluctance, reluctance to, right? What do we call? Why the Buddha was silence and reluctance to answer? This question, please take note, it may, it may come. Remember those 10, our sensei missed it, sensei, but I will forward it to you. So as I told you that uh, maybe after this topic, I do not know there is anything else to discuss. Uh, we have Khanda Dhatu Ayatan, right? A little bit, but we discuss it in the diploma level. That note is good enough for you. Only thing beaten, right? So, for various reasons, right? They have special way, ways of dealing with a special way of dealing with Jain Mahavira. Remember Jain Mahavira. Also reluctant. to answer is it's not only the Buddha. You can keep these notes. Many Samanas, Samana traditions, right? Right? He said what he said, right? From the, this is the word, Chatus Koti. Four cornered answer. Remember last week I gave you? Four cornered answer. Yes, no, yes, no, neither yes, no, no. <laughs> From the Chatus Koti, one cannot arrive the 
truth. You remember, please, this is Jain Mahavira. Right? He said, these alternatives, these alternatives certainly leads to error. This is Jainism, the view of Jain Mahavira, view of Jain Mahavira. leads to error. Then some main things. Human in in capability. Look at that, eh? human incapability, incapability of grasping truth. Human incapability of grasping the or truth or true nature of things. true nature of the thing of things. Remember, now here you can put in Buddhism, anicca, dukkha, anatta. True nature of things, anicca, dukkha, and anatta. So that's in Buddhism. So what I put here, I'm just giving you the Buddhist thought. Buddhism also the same. Right? So, according to Jainism, until one becomes Kevalin. Have you heard this word? No? You never heard? I heard Kaivalya, not Kivalin. Kaivalya. Kivala Hita Jnana. Kivala Hita Jnana. So sometimes in Buddhism it is called Sabbany. Or in, Sarva, in Sanskrit it is called Sarvagnya. Mm. Sorry. Sarvatnya. Please take note. Eh? It's it's even even in the Buddhist teaching also the same passage. You can put it here. What is it called in Buddhism, right? Right in Buddhism. Quite interesting. You must learn, right? Jainism says, what did Jainism says? Hmm? Right? Every object possess every object possess or possesses right right 
innumerable positive and negative characters. Remember, earlier, earlier, remember the first point is, it is dogmatic view. Second point, most of the Samana's religious teachers were reluctant to answer. The reluctance is, what is it called? Ordinary human mind is incapable like your mind, my mind. We, 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 we do not have that capacity. You have to transcend it. You have to transcend it. If transcend, of course, we get the right answer. Otherwise, what happened? <coughs> we confined to arguments, debate, logic, reasoning, and so on and so forth, rather than realizing reality, the true nature of things, truth. And you also can put it that, right? Why the Buddha was silence here? Here even if I if I add it into the earlier one, anicchata, dukkata, anattata, what? What is it called? Khandha, dhatu, ayatana, see? That's Pachakhanda. We can say this, we can say that. Different arguments, different debates, different views. Take note. Eh? You can take note that that 10 points. Sasata loko, asasata loko, anto. Why the Buddha was silence, Chatukkoti? Why it was? So that's. So you can support because ours is pre-Buddhist, pre-Buddhist thought and emergence of Buddhism, pre-Buddhist thought, because the emergence of Buddhism took place in the background of the pre-Buddhist. But there is some reason, that's why second point we take, because what was the reason the Buddha was silenced? Most of the popular religious teachers were silenced only, they don't want to make, make mistake. That's why skepticism. And also this here is not the skepticism like Sanjay. Sanjay Bellatiputta has skepticism, but Jainism, right? Positive and negative characters. So, so it is said that, what is it called? Right? It is not possible. It is not possible for us, right? Ordinary, for us being ordinary, to know all the qualities. Qualities of hmm, a thing. Can you remember this? Being ordinary people, right? We are ordinary people. There are a lot of positive and negative characters in everything. Even sometimes we see, okay, if I look at you, you look at me, look at something, right? You cannot give the full answer because our, our judgment, right? We have very, limited capacity, right? We can only know we can only know some qualities of something. Some qualities of something. human knowledge, 
human knowledge is relative and limited. Relative and limited. And so are our judgment. Take note on this paragraph. This is Jainism. You must read a little bit about Jainism. Eh? Mamoru, all of you sensei, take a little amount of note on Jainism. You read, it may come, it sure to have, I mean, most of the question like Buddhist karma, Jaina karma. So because even it can be a question of Buddhist karma, how does it emerge? Emergence of Buddhist karma. So we have to refer to two things, right? Karma vadin and karma vadin. Activists and non-activists. Like Jain Mahavira, he has entertained so much of the karma. So much of the karma. Clear? Have you got it? So I'm going to share something very, very important thing. Very important things, right? So it's a very good dharma. Very good dharma. And the Buddha, you know. Even in Buddhism, you know, Sensei, there are few things Buddha said. Have you heard about it? A chintani dhamma. Have you heard about it? A chintani dharma. Can you look at this? Achintaniya means what? What is chintaniya? <laughs> you are learning Pali, right? So what is the word meaning chintaniya? Think. Achintaniya means? Unthinkable. It is beyond thinking. No, no, no. What is it? Hiroko, what is Achintaniya? Mamoru, very simple. What is it? Achintaniya. A mean what in Pali? No, negation. No, no. But then Achintaniya mean what? Right? Chintaniya mean thing. A chintaniya mean? It's a negation. Negation mean? Do not think. Do not think. Do not think. There are a few what is it called? The Buddha mentioned in the teaching, you must remember. Do not think. What are the things? Do not think. Hmm. Yes? If you want to know, Buddha, then karma, loka, The, this is called Visaya. Visaya means nature, the network. The Buddha Visaya, Karma Visaya, Loka Visaya, Dharma Visaya, the, the Chitta Visaya. 
please don't think. You should not, you should not, what is it called, spend too much things, too many thoughts over these kind of things. It called, if you continue thinking, the Buddha said what? You go mad. Is such huge. And you look at this word now, the loka. Remember? Sasato loko, asasato loko, antava loko, anantava loko. The Buddha mentioned what? Yes? Don't, don't waste your time. Loka vishaya. Even about the Buddha, about your mind, about the karma, we say. If you should try to think of, right? Right? Yang Chin Tento Buddha said. Na Chin Te Tabbo. Na Chin Te Tabbo. Should not think. As a Chin Taniyadana. Yang Chin Tento. If someone thinks. Unmada, unmada, the person ends up in mental distortion, mad, go mad. So the Buddha said, don't, don't waste time. Don't waste time. Right? That was one of the other reasons the Buddha, right? And then another important passage. Eh? Arahat Sari Buddha. Sorry. Arahatn Sari Putte Classified People Who Come to ask questions into five groups. Very interesting, eh? Look at people come to ask questions, right? They come with five motives, five intentions. Number one, one who asked questions due to sheer ignorance. Ignorance due to avicca. Arantatera Sariputta. The reasons for asking questions. Why people want to ask? Some, of course, some due to ignorance, they ask questions. Number two. Due to bad motive. Remember, when I say this, debaters, right? There are a lot of debaters. They want to write. Sorry, it's a debaters. Eh?
Can you remember? Satchaka Sutta, Chula Satchaka Maha Satchaka. They were debaters. You know, in India, India, it was a country those days. There were some, always they want to go around debating and debating and debating. In Chula Satchaka Sutta, no, no, sorry, Agi Vachagotta Sutta, Agi Vachagotta Sutta in right? Majjumanikai, remember. Agivachavata Agivachavata told his disciples, I'm going to debate, I'm going to defeat. And he even he mentioned that I'll pull the Buddha here, there. Something like what? like a very strong man hold a goat with long ears pull here pull here pull there pull here pull there so they they, they had a bad motive to defeat or something right uh, so the, the motive could be something different motive different number three right What is number T in order to in order to ridicule? That's also another thing. Buddha was very popular. So they want to discredit the Buddha. They want to discredit the Buddha. Ridicule others to 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 what is it called? Put them uh, into a shame position. Put them into a same shame position, right? The next one. What's the next one, right? Due to what is it called? A genuine, genuine desire, genuine desire to know the question that is right, genuine desire to know. Fourth one, you must look at it. Because when you look at that, that's also one of the reasons the Buddha didn't want actually to argue and debate and also so much things. They are not going to be very conducive and useful to the realization of the Dharma. Realization of the Dharma. The last one, very important, right? They ask questions, right? Thinking. Right? If he does not answer if he does not answer satisfactorily satisfactorily I will And so show him up. Show him up. 
and if he does <laughs> that is a good look at it look at can you see the five clear so that you see what happened even the what they said call uh, who that malung ke put Malum Kaputta. Malum Kaputta. So the Malum Kaputta, remember he mentioned, right? What did he say? If you do not answer, I'm going to leave the order. So that's the last one. If you answer satisfactorily, I would stay. If you do not answer satisfactorily, I'm going to leave. So look at that. These, these are the Buddhas you do, Arahanta Tera Sariputta mentioned about it, right? That's there. Have you seen? So this is one of the, you look at, when you look at that, why the Buddha was a bit reluctant, why the Buddha was a bit reluctant to answer. Okay. Can you remember the, what they said call fourfold answer, right? How did the Buddha answer the question? The last week I gave you. What are the ways of answering question? Yes. Can you refer to last week lesson? If you can tell me. Buddha had four ways. How did the Buddha answer the questions, right? What is number one? Yes, that is good. A comes. Number two. Vipaccha kara. Vipaccha pya kara Number three. 
Katipucha Bia Karamia. Number four. Tampania. Hmm? Uh, Tapania. Tapania. Uh, you remember these four. Sensei, you can take note in it you missed last week. Right? Ekamsaviakaraniya. When we say Ekamsaviakaraniya, answer what is it called directly. <clears throat> then Vibhajaviakaraniya in a what is it called analytical, analyzed. Matipucha counter question. Tapaniya, it means set aside. Do not answer. You must remember these four. So the Buddha, what is it called? The Buddha made what is it called the, the way how the Buddha answered the questions. How did the Buddha answer the questions? So looking at the nature, looking at the nature. And also the you look at that for the fourth category, tapaniya. Tapaniya mean what? What was the answer I gave you? Right? Set aside. Set aside. Set aside mean what? No answer. No answer. So here you see, right? So the Buddha sometimes what happened, kept quiet. The Buddha kept quiet, didn't answer. Also, there was, uh, what is it called, uh, right? Uh, in uh, what is it called, Vachagotta Sutta. The Buddha didn't answer him. Buddha didn't answer him. And when Valananda, right, what happened? Uh, right, what is it called? The, the, uh, it's about soul, right? Atman. It's about soul and Atman, right? Then, Vendable Ananda asked Buddha, Vendable Ananda asked the Buddha why he had not answered. Why he had not answered the questions of Vachagutta. Why he had not answered the questions of him, what got the, then the Buddha said what? Very interesting, eh? If I say yes about soul, how Confirmed, what is it called? Eternalism. Please remember, eh? this is called Sasata Vada. If I had said yes to him, now you look at quite interesting way. This will help you. Why did the Buddha reject? Why did the Buddha reject? Clear? If I have not, what is it called, right? 
then confirmed what is it called Ucheed Vaad. it is called doctrine of annihilation must remember this eh? please remember you have sasada sasadavada uchchedavada eternalism sasadavada so this was one of the the other reasons the buddha refused to answer buddha was reluctant to answer if i say yes yes to soul or then i the the world classified me recognized me put me under that category the buddha is sasatvadi if i negate right if i negate then the buddha so oh, this man is nihilist you know the annihilation there's another word called nihilism we call it nihilist nihilist mean what no 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 nihilism yes or no remember the chatuskoti yes and no right with this if i say yes if i say no and also the buddha said what is it called right if i answer negative if i answer negative he would have gone he would have gone out of his mind out of his mind lamenting that i had the soul previously look at this i had the soul previously it seems that seems that now i have not that's quite interesting point in vachagutta sutta so that he may regret that he may regret that previously i had it now i do not have so i'll go back a little bit to this one right
you see the achintaniya dharma in sutta nipata achintaniya dharma in sutta nipata earlier i mentioned to you that this is another reason this is another reason if i if i put it into this note here remember <coughs> oti tathagato param Marana, see, Vede, the Buddha, see, Hoti, Hoti, Tata Gato, Tata, T A T H, Hoti, Tata Gato, Param Marana, right. With the, there is with the, the Buddha be there after death. The Buddha be there after death, right? Right? So this is the Buddha said, but you can't measure, no measurement. It's beyond your Hoti Tathagato Paramarana, no Hoti Tathagato Paramarana, Hoti Cha na Hoti Cha, Neva Hoti na Hoti. You ask these four questions about the, what is it called, existence of the Buddha. The existence of the Buddha. Clear? Okay, so like <clears throat> you see from the beginning again, eh? as to silence of the Buddha, oh, it is Avyakata or Chatuskoti. So we have seen today. The silence is something very practical. So here we refer to the Brahmajala Sutta. What did the Buddha say? It's a ditti. When you ask these questions, they are, Buddha said, what dittis, views, dogmatic views, you see here dogmatic views. So the Buddha said what here? They are, you see the word here, obstacles. They are obstacles when our head is full of views and ideas and thoughts. So the one cannot attain enlightenment. When asked so much a question, yes or no, or yes, no, all those kind of things, it is very complicated way of, right? This is number one. Number two, metaphysical. You know, this is referring to what, right? This statement, it's referring to beyond mind and body. Beyond mind and body. That's what metaphysical. You take note. Later we saw it, right? Because that's why actually this, this word, you keep it very, very well. Uh, it's 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 uh, that that's what we have seen uh, 
beyond mind and body it's a jainism jain mahavira's words i i like it very much to the i have seen when i was just preparing for this note very very inspiring point the jain mahavira mentioned right and also another reason as we sit here the things beyond the mind six religious leaders even you know some of them they didn't want to especially the san seva the skeptics san seva din they were very reluctant to give any specific answer they they just rejected it they just rejected the sansaya vadin and the detailed what we have seen jain mahavira here look at if you can pay attention to this paragraph very good so the jain mahavira is known as what is it called one who got kevala hita jnana one who got the ultimate goal of attainment in jainism right he said but chatus koti four corner the answer yes no yes no or what he said that by answering you would not arrive the truth cannot arrive the truth right so this answers he said leads to error right so that's why jainism maintains what the jainism say human incapability of grasping the truth of true nature of things true nature of things right unless what is it called a person get what kevala hetya jnan is like something like you know in buddhism what is it called right if you can remember arya jnana in buddhism <clears throat> some something like you know you may say that uh, you can put it vipassana vipassana jnana vipassana jnana ordinary knowledge cannot by talking by answering by argument by debate we can't clear and jain mahavira has given a reason you look at this paragraph right look at this paragraph every object possesses innumerable positive and negative characters very interesting very inspiring statement that's why we sometimes we see we come to judgment but sometimes we notice that judgment is wrong because we have not seen every aspect of that thing every aspect not of that thing so it is not possible right it's not possible for us ordinary to know all the qualities of a thing we can only know some qualities of something human knowledge is relative and limited so our judgments clear very 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 interesting very good statement in jainism please look at it even jain mahavira also he doesn't believe in answering they were practitioners of meditation not too much debate and but of course the disciples the followers had debates and arguments but they did not and just now we say what the other important thing chulamalum ke putas poti tathagato param marana aho si na hoti and he also asked antava loko anantava loko remember his two questions relate to this one so the buddha said buddha vishe loka vishe they are beyond your thinking do not try to talk about oh, buddha like that buddha like that 
karma like that, world like this and that. The Buddha said that you cannot. It's beyond your grasp. It's beyond your grasp. If if you if you if you pursue, so the Buddha said you end up in being mad. End up in being mad. So the next one, remember, I'll try to forward to email eh? one of your emails and really share it with everyone. The five is because the Arahanta Tera Sare Buddha mentioned about five types of what he said called uh, attitudes of people last question. First one is very ignorance, he wants to know the answer. Second one, the due to bad motive. Third one is to ridicule. Ridicule means condemn. Like some of them, they don't, they want to, to right? Uh, in front of the people, they want to ridicule the Buddha. Ridicule in a sense that to, 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 to show the people that this man know nothing, knows nothing. So make it like that. Right? And then the fourth person has a genuine desire. He has a genuine desire to know. Fifth one, he has another motive like Malung uh, Buddha. You better answer these questions. If you answer, it's okay. If you do not answer, I show up. What is that? So he, he protested. He said that I'm going to leave. Ultimately, this is how the Buddha answer any question. You ask a question, so Buddha answer directly. You ask a question, Buddha go into classification in detail. You ask a question, counter questions. You ask a question, keep quiet, silence. Silence of the Buddha. Are you okay now, all of you? Can I? So you keep this note. Wish you all health, wealth, protection, and stay because I heard you are embracing, you are waiting. There's uh, some typhoon going to come to Japan, right? So tonight, do a more puja and chanting. Chant Metta Sutta, Ratana Sutta, good for you. I gave you chanting books that day. Please chant Ratana Sutta. After this, chant Metta Sutta because the typhoon is very, very bad. I saw, I just saw the news in China. It's very, very strong. Very strong. Right? And we try to meet Rahul. Please see whether which day we can meet again to discuss question. Even if few of you are ready, just send me a message. I will try to, because try to pass this year, Mamoru, all of you, because it's, this is this is a long jump. <laughs> you have to work hard, work hard in a sense, at least to pass, then continue. Otherwise, you may have to repeat and repeat and repeat. And second, third year, very easy. But this is actually the transition point. So that's why just I'll go through all the four papers and see what any questions, difficulty you send me a bit earlier, then I can prepare some good notes for you. Most important thing, somehow try to get it passed. Think of your country's well-being. It's a very nice country. I sent you also the photograph, so happy to see you all on that day. I purposely come to see you all just for two days. And then let me see whether I have a plan, whether I can spend a bit of time in the month of November. Come there and but try to share some time physically to discuss things. Maybe one or two days, full days, if you can spend, you can discuss most of the questions and get ready. Let me see my timetable and what will happen. And Sensei also, eh? Sensei, please sit, eh? Keiko, Hiroko, take note, eh? Anything, please let me know which day you are free. 
even daytime i can attend it's much better if daytime like afternoon very very good time get ready all the questions and we can discuss send me a message i had a word with uh, shamini then whether we can have some extra classes okay japan singapore sri lanka india our countries may the world be free from this disaster we are having disaster after disaster our life all the living beings we will yang kin chivitam idhava hurangva sagge suvayam ratanam vanitam nanu samam atthi tatha gati hina idam pi buddhi ratanam vanitam etena sat சிங்கப்பூர் நவம்பர் So that that means that they would have trouble so did did you hear something about what is it that means that they do yeah he is coming he is not coming coming he is coming he is coming ah so it's okay this no problem yeah. yeah but i i but do you you know need visa right mm the she's now thinking about uh, to uh, to keep that uh, um, uh, temple and the oh. schedule uh, now we checked mm. on 6 mm. a few days a few days ago um, maybe i uh i just uh, i can uh, adjust to the schedule yeah yeah please you can you can spend more yeah. time so now i'm can... now i'm going to uh, with, uh with my wife mm. Mm. Two, two of you right so mm. maybe, maybe all of you can come here we can have one week class <laughs> i will provide you accommodation and food we can sit down in our temple we can discuss one paper two three papers go back answer mm-hmm. <laughs> when the those they may come okay okay thank you thanks eh? see see you all see you. now to how stop right stop okay. share okay good how oh, i can see your big pictures <laughs> very good <laughs>